Podcast Ranger. We were never on the rails. Wait, so we never talked about Tokyo Drift? Shibachi, go! Uh, figure out again. where to start the show from here, because leaving that in. All right, everybody, um, so... Never again, like, for our first Never e- again. <laughs> for our first episode of Rainus and the Cast Ranger, we're talking about episode three of Tokyo the first three episodes of Tokyo actually. Um, welcome, what? everybody. What year is this? I think we've gotten into some sort of time loop bullshit. Then how the fuck am I here? I Good cer- point. I certainly don't know how oh, the fuck Raven's you. here. Oh, I ain't you from right. the future. <laughs> future. You said you wanted to be part of the uh, po- uh, cast ranger from the beginning, so I gave you what you wanted. Which one of us is the ghost of podcast past? Yeah. Let the record show Gar has raised his hand. Because Let the record show the guy furthest into the future of the show <laughs> raised his hand. Because I know your guys, like... I know, I know the show like the. Back I of my know head. what you said three years ago about train dicks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I remember the first time Paul lost his shit about Shania. Do you nature. remember when we talked about news? Uh, I also remember no. the time where Paul lo- like called Starcaster a fucking weeb. Yeah, oh, thanks yeah. for bringing that up again. Remember, News stories! Remember when we watched a toku about masturbating? Extra, extra cast ranger! Actually, yeah, it was called a... Two Four out of five casters are here, including Raven for a change. Woo! And we have Doritos caster. No, Raven, you have to put your hand You have to put your hand over your mouth. It sounds like you're on Discord. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Oh, time's yeah. ready yeah. on? No, that's fair. Yeah, and, the, and then pass out for half the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you passed out. I texted you being like... <laughs> Still there? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I can just see you like you're just you're like you're hearing us in your headphones and you're just like. Right. I often wonder if while you're asleep and also listening to us, if you just have terrifying fever dreams. <laughs> like you just. I will you, tell. You, you, no, you I will tell you. No. I will tell you is actually really disturbing. You dream that you're actually here with us right now talking about the the show and then you wake yeah, up and you're no, not. You you know, you know, you're not you're not wrong. Sometimes when I do that, I'm wondering exactly how much of the show I was actually awake for cuz so, I feel like I was participating. So wait, if you were asleep during the podcast dreaming about being here in the room, does that mean that you're living out your dreams? Okay. Um, that's Emily's, that's Emily's job. Yeah, I know. Sad but place. she's not here, so we have Doritos she's instead. She's in Cambridge for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, celebrating her parents' uh, 35th anniversary, wedding anniversary. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, first on the news docket, this really weirded me out this week. Doesn't Kijiji. Everything... Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kijiji. Fucking, they... I saw it on Facebook, and I fucking died. I was like, oh. They posted an ad on Facebook using a GIF from a Kiba Ranger yeah, showing their yeah. roll call post. I skimmed it through my Facebook this morning, thought it was just some GIF on the Common Runner group, and I was like, oh, no, okay, it's it was a Kijiji Ranger. ad. Then I looked back up again, I'm like, Kijiji? Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the post that Kijiji did on August 16th at 10.30 a.m. If it's time to put put to bed that cosplay dance trope idea, you came, or you could make a mint selling in time for Halloween. And it's basically a blooper from a Kiba Ranger. That's not a That's blooper. Not a that blooper. was actually in the main episode. That's the real episode. I don't remember that. No. that oh, it was no. like right from the beginning. This is much. a parody series. The whole thing is a blooper and also real. Yeah. Go watch a Kiba Ranger. It's fucking nice. I wish. I, love every I moment. wish it had a season three or a movie. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, the first round of Kamen Rider Build toys have been released, which is the Girl of the Diamond bottles, which means we finally have confirmation that the full bottle toys do not actually have liquid in them. Yeah, no. it's like a, it's like a I'm solid plastic piece. Yeah, it's like a plastic just, cylinder. Like, when you shake it, it just goes up and down. It makes clicking noises like a can of and, spray paint. Um, I saw another video on Twitter it's where um, someone was using the build driver like at a demo station in a toy store, and when you crank uh, the lever... You actually see like the liquid in the bottles going moving up and down, like, and like, like pistons. Yeah, when you and crank when you crank the lever, it might break off. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> when you crank your lever repeatedly, liquid comes no, out. No, I feel like I feel like it's <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like putting the putting the crank on the bill driver is going to be like the same thing with the Sengoku driver. Like when you put the knife on the Sengoku driver, 
You can remove it, but you probably but couldn't. you shouldn't. Wait, is that mean we're gonna have grunt riders with like, without the cranks? Like, like a default belt with the crank. Don't bring back Kurakage Troopers. I, I like, like Kurakage. No, I, I did like too. Them. I did too. But they was, worked in Gai. No, I love like, when they do rider moves. Like, it was a genius idea because Zangetsu's like, oh yeah, let's make one of that rider because that fucker almost beat me. Let's shit on Hase and make him the weaklings we use to power our ground troops. I feel like that's what most of have done. Should have just brainwashed a bunch of ride players and just used them for as his minions. That's actually a great idea! Yeah, that would have been that would have been awesome. Rio Sentai Cast Ranger. Why does he need to use ride players when he can just keep reviving the Bugsters? Because the Bugsters are shit. <laughs> So are the ride players. Well, yeah, when you swarm them with like, enough numbers. Ten, of, ten ride players couldn't even stand up to one of the fucking weakest bugsters. So you swarm them with, like, 50. Yes, it's a raid battle. Yeah. Like Rayo Sentai Cast Ranger, where we come up with better ideas for the shows. Oh, you bring Kaido back from Fives and just have him lead Fuck the ride yeah. players. Fuck yeah. Like, Kaido, Hase, everyone who's ever been a Mook Rider. <laughs> so, Alan's sister. Yeah, the Dark Necrons. Necron P. Uh, the three riders from Wizard. Oh, the mages. <laughs> yeah. I love them. All right, first official story. God, we've been going Masaki on. Masaki Suda it. comes out clean about his role in Kamen Rider Double. As Philip. Philip. Oh, okay. I, I didn't recognize him for a second. Uh, more yeah, anyway, if you go back up. I mean, Kyle I, looks like Michael Jackson there. I, <laughs> I recognize him so little that when I tried to think back to Double and picture Philip in my head... I was just picturing Alan from Ghost. I know, he right? I've been Phillip. saying that forever. He's Dark Philip. He's Dark Philip. <laughs> and just I, I, and I. Every time you said it, I wrote it off. And then the other day, when I was trying to think back to doubles, like trying to picture Philip in my head, it was just Alan okay. wearing Philip's clothes. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna predict, <laughs> I'm gonna predict right now that what his comrade double experience was. It was probably exactly like Joe. They made Joe, me dress in women's no, clothing. No, it's probably like Joe Odegiri's experience in Kuga. I liked being Kuga. I hated everyone on uh, who did Actually, worked on the show. Uh, in short, he was kind of afraid. Oh. Since he was 16, he didn't think kids would actually like him, uh, like being a common writer since he was oh, only a teenager. That's nowhere near as bad as I thought. It's it's talks about his common writer double experience, and I've seen other articles that had a headline like "comes clean about the experience," and I'm like, oh no, yeah, I just, I just had anxiety, and I didn't think people yeah. would like me. And so. Which, so it's about Dreamcaster. But now he's like, oh, now I'm 24. That's how old uh, Hikaru Kiriyama was. Ren Kiriyama. Yeah, Ren Kiriyama, who played Shotaro. Was. Which means we need a Kamen Rider Cyclone movie. <laughs> That'd be cool. And, and as everyone knows, uh, the double story is actually continuing with the double manga, Puto Detectives, volume, chapter 2 of which was recently released. And hopefully we'll get translations of it soon. You know what I want to see a sub of? Kaiju Club episode three and four. Gar, I'm. You know what I'm noticing something about you recently. I think your love for Toku is dying. Well, why? You... Because no, it seems everything Toku related in like Rider and Sentai has just been severely disappointing you. You, you want to know why? Lane? Why? Are you are you getting drunk off chocolate milk? Maybe. Uh, that might be. Uh, I'll be blatantly. <laughs> that might be. I'll be blatantly honest with everyone here. Sometimes it feels... Sometimes Ryder and Sentai can feel like a chore. That's a shame. It's, Gar, welcome to me with Sentai the entire podcast. <laughs> but that's the thing. I actually enjoy Q-Ranger for the most of it. Yeah, exactly. I, I was gonna say. I'm sitting it. through Q-Ranger right now like, okay, yeah, but when are you gonna get anywhere near as good as Zuoger? Exactly. I love Zuoger. So, like, even It's the, like... It, um, like, my, my, my rank my rank for Sentai is, that I've like seen knows. at this point is just, like, this Go is, Kyger, This Zuoger, is the news show. Shit. Let's talk about opinions on the opinion show. Next. Uh, the actor who played the proto Gekitotsu Robots Bugster, Ooh. a.k.a. the Japanese wrestler Hiroshi Tanahashi, recently oh, yeah, got a hairstyle inspired <laughs> by Comrade Build. <laughs> Oh. I love it. You're talking about him and Gar's like, wait, who the fuck's that? And I'm like, you know, the guy from the X8 Ghost movie oh, my that God, you no. never watched. Mm. You were here when we talked about it on the news. I wasn't... I don't know if I... Was I here at that point? Because I, I don't fucking know. No, Cell was I, here. I, now, now that you just said that guy's name, I'm just like, oh, 
God. He's an now NJPW I, I call him Japanese. I know. I call him Japanese. I know. I know who he is. And Japanese I'm like, oh. Mickey Rourke. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mickey Rourke played a wrestler in a movie. Okay. <laughs> and he and he was in an anime. His recently. thumbnail. <laughs> No, no, I'm sorry. Hey, him or Mickey Rourke? No, him. No. Oh, no, I was no. like, Han, hang on. I'm sorry. Now I'm just thinking about uh, Robin Williams' uh, sketch on uh, Mike Tyson. He's like, oh, Mike Tyson just uh, bit off Muhammad Ali's ear. Mike Tyson just got out of prison. You're lucky he didn't fuck him. <laughs> this thumbna- yeah. the, although no, this thumbnail in the, the article basket, of the man. video that's included is hilarious. Oh. Anthony, put the thumbnail in. Oh, my. Oh. Right there's Kicking Toast Robots. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the Tiger Mask double A. Oh, oh is he? yeah! So, the, like the minute you said his name, I was like, oh, oh, well, it's him. I, it's funny because it's white and red too, right? Actually, Send that to Anthony. Put it in. Is Tiger Mask worth worth watching? Um, uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Twelve episodes. If you like, if, no, no, fucking more like fifty. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the, 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 we're, well, that, we're, we're talking full year length anime. I, I here. didn't know it was fifty. I was like. Oh, like 12, 25, 50. <laughs> you can see Ichi's face. He's just like, this is the new show. We talk about news. That's opinion, not news. Morty. <laughs> we were just watching Simpsons. <laughs> Next. Over, please, no care for beans. Controversy rises after Toku Spirits event. Huh? Toku Spirits is a Philippines-based charity event which features a lot of Japanese tokusatsu and actors what's and the guests. controversy? Apparently, uh, at the conclusion of the event, the Kazunori Inaba, who is an actor on Masked Man, posted on his Facebook page that uh, one of the organizers behind Otaku Expo, an event that was partnering with it and taking place the same weekend, uh, apparently reneged on its verbal and legal contracts with Toku Spirits and failed to provide talent fees, airfare, and hotel arrangements for the guests. Oh. This, this being the, the decision of one Dennis Ui. Oh. So the post from uh, the masked man actor, Mr. Kazunori, basically really outed this guy and said, yeah, as long as this guy's involved and there's not going to be as many Japanese guests at these Philippines yeah, events. He, he was red mask and he probably said, yeah. In which, uh, man, this feels like there was actually a bit of news that I learned this week, or like earlier today, in which, uh, Lane, you remember the green Dino Charge Ranger from Dino Charge, right? Yeah, Riley? Riley, yeah. Apparently on his Twitter, while drunk, he tweeted out Power Rangers Dino Charge was the, like, the biggest regret he'll ever have. Wait, who is this? Uh, Michael Riley. Tabber, yeah, uh, the Riley. guy who played Riley in Dino Charge. <laughs> I mean, I'm just assuming at this but point... But that was a good no, one! No, no. I, I'm just assuming at this point that Power Rangers at this point is, like, the greatest regret most of the actors have ever No, 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 like, no, not, sh- like, doing the show, like, behind-the-scenes mm-hmm. type of thing. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that's kind of sad. And he's like, if you want to know more, I'm going to be at this convention. And then I, when he I will up, also be drunk there! No, he might be. No, <laughs> but he mentioned that he deleted, like, he deleted the tweet. But of course, the internet probably way. saved it because oh, yeah. the internet. Oh yeah. Yep. Next, Kohei Murakami, the guy who played Zuo Bird and Kamarada Kaiza, who already has Kaiza Day on September thirteenth, has declared August tenth as Zuo Bird Day. No, Yay! you can't have two days yes, in a row. Eight not- ten, eight ten. <laughs> because the reason for that is the number eight ten can be read in Japanese as Bado. I don't get it, but okay. No, I kind of b- do, bardo, actually. Or bur- bird. It, it sounds like bird. I don't get how 810 equals bado. Isn't that like Hachiju... Ju? Um, at, ha- fa- at, fa- at, very, at very least, Hachi if you Sanju? mess around with a little bit, the 8 can be read as ba. I'm oh. not sure how the 10 gets read. Oh, I mean... No, it's like it's like with Goku. How he I'm does. not sure how the 10 go- yes. factors so into that, no. but... Wait a minute, isn't it like with Goku having the number 59 on his... Literally, shirt? you add a little circle to Ha, and you get Ba. Okay. That's that. That's about, yeah. I, I have no idea how that works beyond <clears> that, <throat> but, but faster. sure. What <laughs> <laughs> an asshole. Typical of Kaiza's Now answer. it makes sense, because someone on the Rider Facebook group was like, Oh, I missed Kaiza Day, and I'm like, no, you didn't, it's next month. 
Wait, what day is Kaiser Day? 9-13. So oh, it's a, it's a day after my sister's birthday. Because 9-13 is Kaiser's henchin code. ka <laughs> Yeah. For Q each sum. Kaiser musical. It's not just the Kaiser musical, that was a verse of it. Anyways. <clears throat> the ex writer eggs a memorial finish gashet set. Fuck. Because right fucking off. hell, we haven't put out enough gashes. You know, Memorial, it's... because they're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> just gate. Just, just show just, and spoilers. Okay, spoilers. All what they are is they're the exact same gashets. They're it's all going like to become... their respective gashets. They just have voice lines from each character. That and they come because with, that's what we want. They come with two stickers. God damn it! One with the actual writer on it and one with the actual game logos. God on damn it! it. So, you so... guys said it, and then I just thought of a thing. What? what? You know. Yeah. Whoever just said the game, the show ends with game over. No, show ends with the end. Question mark? <laughs> Continue? Yeah, and then true end movie happens. I was about to say, they all become their own bugsters. No, uh, true endings confirmed where, uh, you know how Masa Moon Don't ate. Don't say anything about the movie yet, because we're going to read the summary and talk about that as we talk about the finale. Alright. Yeah. Hey... But yeah, so these five gashets, Mighty Action X, Tattle Quest, Bang Bang Shooting, Buxo Bike, and Proto Mighty Action X, each have a not only the original game skin, as Gar was saying, but also a different sticker that makes it look like a Legend Rider gashet. Yeah, you and it's funny how we see in the picture of Dan holding yeah, his gashet. It's, it's, it's the, the origin, origin one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't just do the origin one for this. No, oh, because they want to do the purple one. They should have done both. No, that's so that would be too much. Why didn't Plod get one, huh? Good point. Perfect. Why because he's going to die next episode. But like, I have a feeling he will. Myself, yeah, same. myself included. Anyone who's bothered to collect gashets this whole past year probably has all five of these already. Myself included. Me. It's so, for the people who didn't bother, and now we're suddenly going shit. The show. Are good. all these gashets out of stock? Well, here's your fucking chance. Get all of them or get none of them. See, I, I wanted to get this. I was interested in buying this set just to get the given one, and then Ichi made a fair point. He's like, but. But he never used he it. Never in the use show. it. He never used the memorial game of Gash. And I'm like, true. <laughs> so I don't need to. Yeah, it's like then, no. So eventually, someday down the road, I will need to acquire a Gash Gear Dual Beta because he did use it once. <laughs> so I don't the... think using it once should like that counts. Be valid. It's like it's like how I got the Gomberizing Gash because he used it as the he saw it and one thing. Yeah, once. And in something that may or may not be canon. It's not canon. It is canon. Except, at the end of it, he had all the gadgets, and then we never saw them again. Eh. Anyways, the memorial set is priced at 64 80 yen. Pre-orders opening August 18th. That's today! The day we but found this. But that's tomorrow. And we'll end August 31st. Cool. Next. Oh. They fucking did it! Oh, there you go, Ichi. Oh. Power Rangers Legacy Green Ranger helmet. If they uh, uh, next up is the White Ranger one, probably. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it because I need a White Ranger. Oh my god! Yeah. It, it hurts me that I actually kind of want this. I know. I hope it fits your head though. What is with Bandai Bandai's sucking Tommy's dick? Yeah, sucking JDF's. Because dick. oh gee, it's like he's the most popular Power Ranger right? or something. It, <laughs> it's like people actually buy this stuff because they like the character. What? And or the suit. If anyone suit. asks, hey Lane, who's your favorite Power Ranger of all time? I would say the White Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Well, you, know, you want to know who my favorite? Be between would be that and you posting all that Empire shit, people are gonna start thinking you're a neo Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've been posting my, like, huge love for the Galactic Empire as of recent, and people are just like, which is careful, really, Lane. Which is really <laughs> awkwardly timed based on the whole alt-right shit that's been going on. Hey, Lane. Huh? Do it. Re Re Rebellion's nothing but a bunch of terrorists. Do it. Does Do the it. record show that Gar has a towel over his head and is trying to be palpable? I knew it. I knew it. Do it. In now, Skywalker, you will die. As for this bit, screw it. <laughs> Moving on. Get so, on with it. Uh, February 2018 release, priced at 99 probably American dollars. So, so it's going to be 150 It'll be a $150 helmet. Yep. That's not bad. 
150 bucks for it now. You know what I would like? I would like if it came with an alternate piece where you could put the the silver stripes on the top of no. the Yes, no. and I love that. No. Helmet. I kind of no. I kind of wish they do this with more yeah. than just these things because I wish they put it out with the fucking shield. A couple That'd be yeah, awesome. Well. <laughs> a, a cup, but like it, Lexi Dragon Shield. <laughs> no lie, I would be seriously tempted to buy that. No, uh, because if you get if they got enough of these that I'd actually care care about, go really nice right next to my Kamen Rider Ichigo bust in my room. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, you have that thing. Yeah. So wait, who do you want next to Ichigo? Like, just any of any other like rider, I'd actually give a fuck. About. Oh. Because I found that, and then never again. Mask well, I mean, Rider, Black Rider. I mean, you can definitely look up, like, one-to-one -one yeah. scale cosplay helmets made by fans. Well, it's, it's not like a... There are even one ones one that light scale. up, I it's see. It's not like one-to-one -one scale, I have, but it's I have like, a tiny one. Well, close it's enough. <laughs> hey, Ichi. <laughs> you versus the, the one you should be worried about. <laughs> Send that to Anthony. <laughs> it's some kid in a terrible Halloween Green Ranger mask. <laughs> Next. Next. We finally moved on from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Go see ya. Legacy Zionizer. Official images. Yay. Now, do, do they come with, like, uh, like leather straps? I don't know. Doesn't say. So. That's fucking cool. <laughs> Did you ever actually learn how to do the fucking Zero Ranger Henshin pose? Well, now you can try because you can get the Xeonizer again. See, okay. Other than, other than the uh, the Turbo Morpher, because you know using the key into the ignition uh, wrist morpher is fucking cool. I don't like morphers that require like both, like both your hands. I like. I like it. I, I just, know, I just when I was a weird. kid, I always would was confused by how to do the pose for the Xeonizers. Exactly. That's why I like the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Power Morpher. You just go, eh, 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 and then well, there you go. It's not, eh, eh, and, eh, here, it's and here I am sitting here like, man, I've got a while to go. Click. I've got a while to go before eh, they get the Legacy eh, type, eh. Uh, time force eh. Morpher going. Yeah. You know, I'm, ju I'm just over here hoping for Super Z Omega Zord. Now, you, you know what I want to see mm -hmm. as a Morpher? The, uh, Oh shit! The the samurai ball from Ninja Storm. Just just a it was just a ball. It's yeah, kind of, it's, it's a toy shit. It's because Shira Kendra was about baseball. Yeah, it's and that was a microphone and a sword. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Legacy Zionizer also February twenty eighteen also ninety nine dollars. Twenty eight. That's a little much. Wait. $99. That's way too much. Itch. A little much. It's probably diecast. It probably plays the Zeo theme. It, it should. Fuck's sake, it probably does. Yeah. You, you know what it should be? It should be at least 50 No. I could see it being at least in 70 80 I would say 60 70 yeah. Okay. For something with the word legacy tagged onto the front, I'm surprised it doesn't well, cost the legacy more, more than the that, Well, the legacy actually. power morpher was like 50 You're bucks. right, but... For, for 100 bucks, you could probably buy an original Xeonizer. Good point. Yeah, but that, that was shit cartoons. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, I put this one in. Uh, Legacy Power Ranger Zeo figures. Uh, official images came out. Ooh, and one. as expected of every fucking American Power Rangers figure, they look terrifying. They look great. Yeah, they do look great. They look beautiful. <laughs> great, in air quotes. Hey, this is the closest thing to Sentai figure arts we're getting. That, okay, okay. No. I'll grant you the gold one looks awesome. No. And I will, like, this is the only time we've ever actually gotten proper Zeo Ranger figures. Oh, and they did the Zeo Megazord, too. Yeah, uh, the six figure, or the five figures built together to make the Zeo Megazord. They don't come with their signature weapons, which I'm kind of sad about, because I like the Zeo Ranger yeah, signature they'll, they'll weapons. Yeah, they'll release, uh, the yeah, they they weapons? Yeah, the, you know, like, Zero Power Sword, oh. Zero Axe, Nunchucks. Zeo was so unmemorable to me, I forgot they had weapons. But at least they come with their blasters. I mean, I should fucking hope so. Otherwise, those holsters are going to be useless. Well, they're holding blasters in their hands. No, I know. Uh, the Zeo Legacy figure line will uh, start in fall 2017, beginning with green, yellow, and gold. That's odd, but okay. No. I'll buy the gold one. And the and in late of 2018, we'll get red, blue, pink. So they're going to wait a year to release the other half of the fucking team? More or less because of... 
wave three is going to consist of those of uh, green, yellow, and gold, and Dino Thunder red and blue. Okay. Because they like to separate two teams together. But since they announced the Psycho Ranger figures, yeah. So wait, if all six of the Rangers come with Megazord pieces, does gold come with Pyramidus? No, it comes with the Zeo staff. Because six Rangers usually get shafted to just, like, oh, I mean, exclusive I'm, I'm, weapon, which is just their signature weapon. I mean, I'm glad it comes with a weapon, and it actually looks, the figure and the weapon look pretty good. Like, if anything, the six Ranger figures should come with everybody else's signature weapons, since they don't come with a Build-A-Figure piece. Or just Pyramidus. <laughs> Anyways, those are things that are happening. Yes. Next! Oh my goodness, if Power Ranger DVDs couldn't get any more lazier. Uh, Lionsgate released Dino Charge, Dino Supercharge, the complete box set. Samurai and Super Samurai and Mega Force and Super Mega Force in like just their own little box sets. Oh yeah. I think they're cool. So here's the weird part. I was looking at these cases real close. So on the Dino Charge one, they have completely omitted the Pink Ranger for some fucking reason and replaced them with the Violet one, which well, is really loves, weird. Because everyone loves Kendall. Yeah. And they also did it with Megaforce. Yeah, Mega. <laughs> and instead of putting the Pink Ranger, they put Jake's both both of Jake's forms: Go Say Black and Go Kai Green. <laughs> wow, they really hate Pink Rangers. You want to know the sad part? Huh? They still don't release these on Blu-ray. Even though the show is filmed in, like, 1080p. Do you really think m anyone cares enough to put Megaforce on Blu-ray? They put Super Samurai on okay, Blu-ray. Okay, let's, let's rephrase that. Do you think anybody cares enough to buy <laughs> Super Megaforce on Blu-ray? No. <laughs> no. Because nobody actually cares about that god-awful 20th anniversary. Yeah. And More so like Megaforce! I'm like sure that's an old joke. More like Power Ranger Super Mega shit. I guess I guess this is a good time to quickly uh, promote my new show that I came out with. So, um, to talk about uh, Power Rangers Ninja Steel, uh, me and Gar are doing our own vlog series called Throwing Two Stars. So it's just a like quick vlog series that we're doing where we just talk about uh, each episode of Ninja Steel that comes out, and it's, like, on camera, and so you see our reactions, and... Do we want to put up the logo? Funny. Yes. Put Anthony, the logo right here! Anthony, put up the logo. Ask me for it. I'll yeah, Ichi it. made it. It's really nice. I came up with the name and designed the logo. So, And it'll... even though I was like, we don't need a title if we're just going to do a vlog series on it. Everything we do gets a title. Why? Because... Um, that is, I am, uh, a, first, I am an organization freak. The first episode will come out sometime... First two episodes. Yeah, first two episodes will come out sometime soon. <laughs> I finally put them on the computer off the camera today. Yay. In which I actually looked at them, and then I realized, oh god, I really let myself go. So, Next! Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> SH Figure Arts Renewal Common Rider Eternal! Oh my god, that that is very beautiful. Oh, no, go... No! No! Yeah! <laughs> those for, those no's were for the version without the cape. Because you can't just have a turtle. Oh, you can make him do the thumbs down. Of course you can. I No, you know what? I bet you can pose him doing that sweet-ass fucking rider kick that he does. How do you fucking move the cape? Um. Maybe it's like wires inside. Yeah. I don't know. And yeah, he actually comes with all 26 Gaia memories. Oh my god, there are two shots, one with them all in and one without them. You can, in fact, put all 26 memories in it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Eternal has 26 slots. Yeah, that's the plot the, of the, the plot of the movie is that he has slots for yeah, A to Kamen Z. Rider, Kamen Rider Double, Gaia Memory, A to Z. That was the name of the movie. Well, yeah, I, kn I knew that. I just didn't know he had slots for all 26 on his body. Oh, what's that? Uh, yeah, well, that, that's how he, like, because he uses oh, the... Oh, so apparently, he, it's, uh, it's not that the guy memories come out, there's just versions of those attachments to his suit with oh, them. Oh, okay, all good. Gone. You know why? Because those would be a pain in the ass. 26 to, tiny guy memories? No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, like your turtle's saying. No, uh, thank you! So the figure includes a number of accessories and parts. Six additional hands for left and right, an exchangeable memory holder part set, which would be the chest piece, Three additional Gaia memory accessories, Eternal Signature Combat Knife, Eternal Edge, and the iconic cape, Eternal Robe. Wait a minute, the cape actually has a name? Fuck yeah. Wait, what's it called? The, the Eternal, Eternal Robe. Whoa. And is 
weapon is the eternal edge. All right, That's now awesome. somebody uh, has to do photos with him with Doctor Strange. <laughs> or Batman. Can we, As now, can we Doctor please Strange. have a premium Bandai DX Eternal Edge, please? I would I, love it. I would kill for Eternal's combat knife. I want a Joker slot on a knife. Yes! So, I've seen handmade ones. They're good. So the Renewal Eternal is priced at 78.84 yen, so probably over 100 bucks by the time it gets to any of our hands. But you know what? It's the Renewal series. They're worth that much. And we'll release in January. Pre-orders begin now. He looks cool. I still haven't seen the movie yet. It's good movie. It's just tempted. I am. I'm very... Well, I think there was January. a Dragon Knight reference in the movie. Yeah. Because there was an English actor. King was guy, and he actually, they actually just literally ripped the audio of someone saying Common Rider and it's put a, it on the actor. Common Rider. Common Rider. And it's better than what I just saw in Battle Fever J. I did not know that. Where they actually got an American guy to come in, speak his lines, but they dub him over into Japanese, saying, oh, there's a machine over there that translates everything he says <laughs> into <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> and it's like, 1979. Why did you bother no, no, then? No, no, But then you have the other American who's like, oh, you speak Japanese? Yeah, since we're both F FBI agents, we should know how to speak, you know, multiple languages. Why the fuck doesn't he know Japanese? Anyways. Next. I'm not, I'm not Japanese. Oh, so you can't speak Japanese. Oh, Shoto, uh, Wave 7 of Kamen Rider figures have been revealed. The Shoto Stage series. Yeah, in which they're like tiny figures. They're more like tiny gimmick figures that don't actually gimmick. Yeah. Uh, the the four figures are Kamen Rider O's Tatoba combo formation, Kamen Rider Birth, uh, Kamen Rider Zeto, and Doras. Doras. <laughs> His ass is a door. Where's Doras again? From Zeto. It's the Eiji the Kaiwa monster from oh, Zeto. Yeah. The cool one! Oh, no, um... The first monster, Dex Spot, and Mask Rider. Oh, yeah, and they used remember the footage was, of Zeto. Remember yeah. he was fucking awesome in Zeto? Yep. Yeah, and he us. has an awesome SH figure arts. And apparently there are two more figures in this set that are being kept secret. Gee, I wonder what they are. I mean, what, what with, I mean? think of it. With birth, what can you possibly do? Proto birth. Exactly. Okay, there's one of them. Uh, and then something Zeto. No, and then there's going to be Doras in his red form. Good oh, guesses, but we'll see what happens. But Next. here's my favorite thing. Uh, Shoto Shishi Red from Uchi Sentai Q Ranger prototype was revealed. So yes, yeah, Super Sentai is finally coming back toy line wise. Sadly, not in figure art form. I mean, they've always had the vinyl figures, but those are terrible. Yeah. Uh, I like the ones I have. Yeah. But yeah, Q Ranger is finally gaining some respect in toy like toy versions. Yay. I mean, I get it. Q Rangers probably got the most uh, originality pursuit in the last little while. Because uh, otherwise, yeah. let's release five figures that essentially look the same. I also love how with Bandai of America, they're like, oh yeah, when when we adapt Q Ranger, we're going to make everybody's different mold. It's Just, like, this might be the only American toy line I'm excited so, for them. So sad they cut off the Sentai figure art line at Tokyo no, I am so sad. I guess you could say it was their last stop. No, no, I'm just sad that they never finished, like, teams like Jetman or Die Ranger or uh, Hurry Kenger. Because we never got a Shuri Kenger figure art. Nope. So, the new line is set to debut in December, but its details and contents are still being finalized. Show us that image, Gigi. Oh, that's so beautiful. Mm. Wait, when I first saw this lucky. news article, somebody said it was the figure art prototype. I lost my shit. I go back to. I would at definitely it. have noticed that this wasn't a figure art. It's very obvious. This oh is yeah, a no, I know it's prototype. Yeah. Well, anyways, Q Ranger. Super stuff. Shishito. That's about it for news. Wow, there wasn't a lot this week. Yeah. Uh, wait until next week when we have magazine scans. Oh, uh, fair enough. Field. Beautiful. Well, Beautiful. No man, freaking Q Ranger man. Oh Raven, I told I, I told Ichi that. Would when we talk about the debut of Build, we're getting Eric on the episode. Because physicist. He's a physicist. Fair. <laughs> so I he needs to see I, the common Rider that is I also a physicist. I messaged him about that. He hasn't responded. Of course not. Eric's busy doing Eric shit. <laughs> doing physics. Yeah. 
Eric's busy doing science. Yes, B. Action science! Action science! Good night, everybody. Ten points for anyone in the comments who knows that reference. Darkest sketch. Darkest sketch. Bye. That's a completely different reference. Bye, everybody. Bye. This episode of Cast Ranger has been brought to you by the glorious donations of our cast patrons, Oliver Nelson, Joel Maroney, and Chris Laird. Thanks very much.